I feel very lucky to be here in Nairobi for these two days at the introductory workshop and launch of the, the new Ilri hub for antimicrobial resistance. It's a great opportunity. Well, the major challenges of, of AMR are to do with what happens if we don't get it under control. According to modeling exercises, almost 30 million people will go back into chronic poverty due to the effects of AMR, which will severely knock off track the SDG on poverty, the targets there. The economic climate, the GDP of, of, the, of the world will be knocked back in a similar fashion to what happened in the 2008 financial crisis, which was severe. But rather than being a single event, this will be a continuous process because if AMR isn't brought under control, then these losses to the world economy will continue and they will get worse. So these are, these are reasons why I think the, the issues of AMR are absolutely very, very important for everybody to take into account. And that doesn't, doesn't take into account, those are economic issues, there are poverty issues, but there are also human suffering issues of uh, avoidable deaths will increase and uh, families across the world will suffer as a result of of a problem which basically we've brought upon ourselves through misuse of anti antimicrobial drugs. I think the benefits of this hub are fundamental because AMR is a really complicated, complex and very wicked problem. It requires many different disciplines to work together. Not only scientific disciplines uh, from veterinary, from health, from environmental aspects, but also it requires a great deal of social science because it has to do with changing people's behavior, changing farmers' behavior, changing the way that people think about antimicrobials and the way that people use antimicrobials because antimicrobials are a very precious resource that we risk squandering as humanity if we don't look after them, steward them and make sure they're there to be effective for future generations. So the Ilri Hub can bring together all those different sciences that are required to work together not only in a one health approach but what I call a super one health approach which brings in many different aspects not only of hard science but of social science which are all going to be needed in implementation of interventions to bring AMR under control which will be context specific in different countries and depend very much on cultural factors, social factors, the way that people think and use uh, antimicrobials will be fundamental to how we can change the way that they are used uh, to be used more efficiently, more effectively and without promoting further rounds of resistance. I think it was very important for me to to attend this workshop on behalf of the World Bank because this is an issue which concerns the, the World Bank greatly and has published various studies and, and exercises and modelling of economic uh, impacts etc over the last year or so and is currently also working on AMR. Because the World Bank is a great supporter of CGIR and is a big client of the of the CGIR's research outputs and products it's very important to show that support but also to be here to discuss with others from many different organizations and from many, many different countries how we can work together to support the initiative of the Ilri hub on AMR going forward so it's very important for me to be here apart from of course I love every opportunity I get 
to visit one of the CGIA centres.